Norway has made a vital move. Russian forces last chance in the Sea of Azov has likewise passed. Norway's declaration of support for Ukraine dealt a crushing blow to Russia. Putin was taken aback by what he had to say in return. Russia's most recent strategy has also failed. Following back-to-back -back setbacks in the Black Sea, Russia's fate has been sealed in the Azov Sea during the recent Russian-Ukrainian conflict. Ukraine has been involved in a variety of sectors. When Russian forces decided to launch an attack not only from land but also from sea, the Ukrainian army took a significant move. Ukraine has conducted numerous operations against Russia's fleets and port coasts. Following these operations, the Russian army has no strength to take refuge in this territory. But this final move has demonstrated to the entire world that Russia cannot maintain her fleets in any sea. Since Russia's declaration of its new invasion route, there has been significant movement in the Baltic region. This movement, which would radically reverse Russia's advantage, has begun to alarm Putin. The moves taken by Ukraine have come to a very clear point as a result of the Baltic nations declaring their support for Ukraine and beginning to deliver large amounts of aid. While it is unclear what the Russian army would do in response to this clarity, a stunning revelation has emerged from the Baltic Sea following Ukraine's operation of Russia's fleet in the Black Sea. Several Navy products, including nuclear submarines, were relocated to the Baltic. Although Europe and the United States were concerned about the situation, they are powerless to interfere because they realized a regional response was required. Norway's reaction was just what we needed. This reaction was so strong that it caused consternation even in the capital, Moscow. As the threat of World War II grew, the Russian people's enthusiasm for Putin vanished. This has once again brought Russia's domestic matters to the forefront of the debate. After Ukrainian intelligence exposed Russia's objectives, a massive wave of reactions ensued in the Baltic Sea. When it became clear that Russia would continue its invasion operations in this region after conquering Ukraine, Norwegian navies were dispatched to the area. This insight had far-reaching consequences all around the planet. Putin would first invade Moldova by land and then take measures to reintegrate all of the former Soviet Union's countries into the Russian Federation. But Putin's terrible scheme did not end there. Ukrainian intelligence found that Putin chose to act after the invasion of Ukraine because he saw two more European countries as a threat. This is the circumstance that has perplexed the entire planet. While the Norwegian Navy dispatched ships to the area, the Ukrainian army began repelling Russian soldiers in Bakhmut. This situation has begun to expose a massive political dilemma. Norwegian ships demonstrated to the entire world who is stronger in the Baltic. As a result of the Ukrainian army's campaign against Russia, while this position terrified Putin, when Norway went further, the Russian ships panicked and alerted the Kremlin. Putin could not be justified globally because Russia's presence in the Baltic Sea is not a lawful condition. As the fight with the Ukrainian army continues, as Russia would be literally encircled if a war broke out in the Baltic Sea. Taking these factors into account, the Kremlin government chose to take a defensive stance. But Norway didn't stop there. Norwegian ships kept sailing over Russia. This was yet another sign that Norway strongly supports Ukraine. Putin was at a loss for words as a result of the simultaneous suppression of the Ukrainian army in Bakhmut. As a result of these indicators, he took a defensive stance in order to recall the ships to Russia. Because of Norway's exertion of pressure in this region, Ukrainian soldiers used all effort to oppose Russian forces on the Bakhmut front, up to a degree. The Ukrainian army was successful. This situation was covered in the international news under the headline Norway falls behind Ukraine. Ukraine is projected to be at a completely different location in the Baltic in this situation as well. Ukraine, which has successfully rejected Russia's invasion of Crimea and the Ukrainian territory and has blockaded Russian soldiers in this region, is expected to take significant measures in the Baltic as well. After experiencing so many failures, 
the Russian people began to revolt violently. While Putin's decisions in the past years could not be judged, no one is now indifferent because there was a significant difference between Putin's conduct when he was a successful manager and his current deceptions. Putin has virtually established his own empire, especially recently. On the other hand, the varied results of this circumstance characterize a massive breakdown today, both militarily, economically and administratively. Many individuals in this area who are aware of the issue have begun to take action to pursue their rights by taking to the streets. Putin, who has recently emphasized his autocracy, is that a loss for what to do? It is widely acknowledged that the fact that he has been in such a difficult circumstance is due to Putin's blunders. Putin's resignation voices began to moan all across Moscow as a result of this uncertainty. As a result of such severe reactions from many individuals in Moscow, Putin's influence in the longevity of many bureaucrats were called into question as a result. It is hard to predict what the Kremlin will do, according to military analysts. The latest failed attempts to force Putin's resignation have begun because it is impossible to foresee what Putin would do. Certain implications of this imbalance have now begun to push the entire globe to the edge of disaster. If this calamity occurs, Russia will suffer severe consequences. People were aware of this and began collecting signatures for peace with Ukraine in order to avoid a nuclear tragedy. Putin tightly restricted the peace talks which attracted nearly 2 million signatories in a week. Putin, who prioritizes personal judgments over national decisions, continues to insist on remaining in Ukraine. But he must pay a high price for this. It is well known that Russia has recently experienced a severe economic downturn. This economic downturn has created significant misery. This issue stems from the fact that people in Russia are at a loss for what to do. The entire world has begun to impose severe sanctions against Russia. These embargoes are still in effect in a variety of areas, including the withdrawal of Western corporations from Russia. With the retreat of major Western corporations, massive unemployment began to emerge because people are unable to earn a living through labor. The crime rate has skyrocketed. A separate space has also been established for individuals who wish to work. The entire globe has been terrified by this location. As a result of its recent actions, the Ukrainian army has begun inflicting significant losses on Russia. As a result of these tragedies, Russia began to pay grave diggers and clergymen to assist in their burial. The number of these persons has grown to the point where it can close the unemployment gap. This demonstrates to everyone how Russia has progressed in the conflict while simultaneously serving as the foundation for many anti-war protests. Putin, who was enraged by this, maintained his volatile wartime policies. While the entire world is concerned about this scenario, it is unclear what the Ukrainian army would do in reaction. However, it is becoming clear how large the operation that Ukraine will launch against Russia in the near future will be. At this moment, while intelligence is already in operation, everyone is aware that Russia has a limited amount of time. Estonia dealt a significant blow to the Russian army. Putin will no longer be able to seek refuge in the Baltic. With Estonia's choice, the entire Baltic is unified. And this water, the Russian army is literally surrounded. On top of that, Putin's decision stunned the entire world. It is only a matter of time before the globe which is divided into two blocks, faces a major catastrophe. Russia in the final days of the Ukrainian war. The Russian army was dealt an entirely different kind of setback. Putin, who has had a very difficult political period, was taken aback by the attempt. But with Estonia's recent action, Russia, which has entirely lost its dominance in the Black Sea, now has no control over the waters. While the Russian army was worried about these events, the entire world banded together. Russia is believed to be a country that can pose major problems for the entire world. Recently, Putin's erratic movements and policies are at the forefront of this. While Ukraine organizes back-to-back -back operations to take advantage of them, the Russian army has reached the point where it is willing to concede defeat. 
As a result of these successive failures, Putin has become extremely confrontational, particularly on the battlefield. As a result, he drew a lot of attention, particularly because of two recent actions he made. Following these developments, the Baltic countries were expected to take action against Putin. Nobody anticipated Estonia to make such a dramatic move. Because of this critical choice, Russia's fleets ought refuge in the Baltic. However, Putin's most recent decision was cited as the cause for this. Because of the defeats in Ukraine, Russia has begun to pursue new policies. Putin opted to put nuclear weapons, principally in Belarus after losing the conflict in the Ukrainian region. Putin, who took another move against the Ukrainian army after this much-discussed decision, would absolutely exhaust the patience of the Baltic countries. This policy was implemented in response to the arrival of a large number of submarines into the Baltic Sea. These nuclear submarines have been transferred to this region to be used if the Ukrainian army receives more backup. However, the Baltic countries were enraged by this decision. Behind the material given by Israeli intelligence with Ukraine, the countries that first refrained from this choice signed another very important decision. Ukraine was shown to be Putin's first target, but not his last. Putin was attempting to establish a new empire akin to Tsarist Russia. However, the Baltic states who refused to allow this took a radical step against Putin by arranging a top-secret meeting. The Russian fleets would no longer be present in the Baltic as a result of this move. Estonia, Norway, Denmark, Sweden and Finland took a totally different approach in their conclusion. While Putin's fleet posed the threat to the security of several countries in the region, they also cast doubt on the invasion. However, there was a dramatic remedy. This position may alter drastically if a big number of countries banded together in an exercise against the Russian army. The Baltic states issued a cooperative agreement of understanding and said that drills will be held in the Baltic Sea. The officials in the Kremlin who saw this memorandum did not hint at a possible move against them. But the Russian army was never hit by an unexpected blow. Other countries, led by Estonia, began to frighten Russia by sending bombers and fleets to the Baltic Sea. The Russian Navy, which did not fully comprehend the situation, did not back down. The Russian pilots were concerned by the uncertain stance of the Estonian and Swedish fighter jets. Sweden made the decisive move. Swedish airplanes have begun bombing near Russian naval bases. The Russian captains quickly notified the Kremlin following the bombardment. However, the response they received from the Kremlin was unanticipated by the Russian military. The Kremlin has informed the captains that this is merely a drill and that they should remain in the region. However, Sweden has begun to test the waters. A second battle could erupt if the Russian army does not withdraw from this region as a result of the Estonian ships nearing the Russian navy. The captains chose to retire on their own initiative, while this critical move saved a new war. It also eased the world's countries which had been exceedingly apprehensive recently, albeit little. However, the Kremlin rejected the Russian Navy's decision to make such a choice. However, the Russian Army's ropes have been stretched rather far. Putin's decisions have thrown everything into disarray, and one by one, the captains of these ships were fired. The entire Russian Army has risen to its feet. As a result of this decision, the Russian Army is now facing major challenges. The fundamental cause of these problems is regarded as the Russian people's economic misery because of Putin's bad policies. The Russian people have had to deal with a severe economic catastrophe as a result. Several of Putin's advantages have been thrown into question. According to his intentions at the start of the war, Putin hoped to take over Ukraine in around two weeks. Because these economic policies did not produce the desired results, Ukraine was dealt a crushing loss. This defeat was one of the most devastating to the Russian army. The Russian army, which has long sought success in Ukraine, has now been forced to abandon all hope. This circumstance generated a significant demoralization among the troops, especially when they realized that the families they left behind had to live in very poor conditions.
The Russian army is now dealing with a variety of situations as a result of the embargoes getting more severe. The first of these is a massive unemployed army that has formed as a result of Western corporations' retreat from Russia. It is well recognized that this unemployed army has some short-term answers. But when it was revealed, whatever career these folks had chosen, the entire globe was shocked because Russia has lost nearly 200,000 men since the beginning of the war. A need for grave diggers and priests has arisen in Russia. This requirement would allow Russia's unemployed to find a solution in the immediate term. However, this situation has once again demonstrated to the rest of the world how weak and devastated Russia's economy is. Putin's latest threats against all countries throughout the world have mobilized a significant number of countries. These countries were once the G7 countries, which represent the backbone of the global economy. These countries have chosen to take tough actions against Putin, who wishes to undermine today's peace-based global policy. As a result of these steps, the Ukrainian army would be able to depart Russia in the midst of a major crisis. The G7 countries decided to put many embargoes on Russia. As a result of their unified decision, however, the G7's decision to send ammunition and other support to Ukrainian troops fighting Russia reverberated around the world. Their subtle, though effective opposition to Putin has been lauded around the world. However, the decisive move came from Japan at this point. This move has startled the entire planet. Japan was one of the countries that remained neutral since the start of the conflict. However, with Putin's newest measures, Japan has begun to lose its neutrality. Japan, which first sent anti-550 million to Ukraine, recently stated that it has withdrew this sum to a different site and he made that help-seeking statement that stunned the entire world. Japan has raised its assistance to Ukraine by approximately 11 times, totaling E11 times totaling 5.5 billion. This comment was now intended to demonstrate that Japan was also a party. However, Putin's ambition to place nuclear missiles in Belarus threw everything into disarray, and the Ukrainian army was in a major problem. 3. Despite the fact that this crisis, which has the potential to cause a world war and a nuclear calamity, has diverse repercussions around the world, it has reminded us once again that numerous steps should be taken against Putin. According to war analysts, Putin, who has become increasingly unstable, is aware that he is about to lose power, which would include being placed on trial. As a result, he wishes to remain in power by prolonging the conflict and leaving his position unchallenged. However, according to recent developments, Putin will suffer a significant setback. The Ukrainian intelligence service has understood the Russian army's hidden plot in Bakhmut. The Ukrainian army's operation dealt a major blow to the Russian army, causing Putin to have a nervous breakdown. The year-long conflict between Russia and Ukraine is currently centered on the Bakhmut and Solidar Front's deck. While the invading Russian army has taken part of the city of Solidar, the Ukrainian army is still fighting to keep the city intact. Many areas of occupied Soldau have been freed of Russian soldiers by Ukrainian forces. Zelensky declared that they will not surrender the city of Bama to the occupying Russian forces until the occupying soldiers and Solidar are totally evacuated. Clashes continue between the Russian army and Ukrainian forces who have entered Solidar with the help of Wagner mercenaries and Russian soldiers. Deck. The Russian army's losses in Solidar are twice as high as Russia's losses in Ukraine in a single month, according to the Ukrainian authorities. Around 800 Russian soldiers have died in Solidar alone. Many Russian headquarters in the city of Solidar were destroyed as a result of air attacks conducted by the Ukrainian army. Another Russian officer sent by Putin to Ukraine was killed in Solidar, and the commanders deployed by the Russian army to Ukraine's territory began to perish one by one. One of Russia's senior commanders, Georgia Shuveyev of the 1st Tank Army, is also claimed to have died on the soldier front.
According to reports, Russian commander Shuvayev and 48 Russian soldiers hiding in an abandoned building in solidarity with Russian forces were killed by artillery fire directed at the building by the Ukrainian army. Putin has created numerous covert bases and headquarters near Solidar. Ukrainian President Zelensky has assembled a 400-person team to identify these headquarters and covert sites. This elite team of 400 Ukrainian intelligence officers is entrusted with finding covert bases constructed by the Russian army on Ukrainian soil. Putin is becoming increasingly concerned since the Russian army has incurred so many fatalities on soldier land. Russian President Putin has chosen to amass a large number of Russian troops in Donetsk in order to avoid losing Solidar entirely on Putin's command. A tens of thousands strong Russian army has marched from Donetsk to Solidar. Putin understands that if he loses soldier, Putin understands that if he loses soldier, he will also lose the Donetsk area. However, the huge operation of the Ukrainian army at Solitaire revealed Putin's secret plot and caused a major problem in the Kremlin. Ukraine, 28, a 500 strong Russian force, was eliminated in an air and ground operation initiated by the Ukrainian army in the city of Solidar. Solidar, also known as the underground city, has numerous underground city, has numerous underground connections with both Bakhmut and Solidar. There are sewer connections practically everywhere in the city, and several underground tunnels have been made for salt caves. The Russian army intended to use these underground tunnels to reach the Ukrainian troops' rear in the city of Bakhmut and pressure them. The Ukrainian intelligence service discovered a 500-strong Russian unit attempting to march underground to the city of Bakhmut, thanks to the radar technology provided by the U.S. to Ukraine. With an urgent decision, Ukrainian army commanders began bombing the underground tunnels in Bakhmut located in Solidary, Ukraine. The 28th Brigade used Date Bayrak Tardy B-2 unmanned combat planes and mortars to conduct air strikes on underground tunnels where Russian troops were stationed. Ukrainian soldiers guarded the exit point of the tunnel in Bakhmut to prevent Russian soldiers from leaving the tunnels. The tunnels were allowed to collapse on the Russian soldiers as a result of the bombardment. Ukraine ranks 28. The successful operation of his brigade prevented a 500-strong Russian battalion from approaching the city of Bakhmut. The Ukrainian forces stationed in Bamet. The Ukrainian forces stationed in Bamet would have been crushed if this Russian unit had entered the city. This is precisely what Vladimir Putin desired. Putin, who was losing his residential zones in Solidar, needed to do something to capture Bamet. Putin's covert plan to apprehend Bamet. The Ukrainian army effectively stopped the use of underground tunnels between Solidar and Bamet. The Russian army's unsuccessful attempt provoked a serious crisis in the Kremlin. The loss of a 500-man Russian contingent in there will be a major headache for Putin. After the defeat, the Russian General Staff Chief Valery Gerasimov purportedly sought a retreat from the city of Solidar, but Putin refused. Failures in the city of Solidar began to provoke divisions within the Russian administration. Putin, who has decided to shift commanders on a regular basis, has yet to achieve the victory he desired on Ukrainian territory. Putin has not only placed troops on Ukrainian land, but he has also dispatched his own agents to a number of different countries to gather confidential intelligence. When we look at the soldiers in the Ukrainian army, we can see that they are taught by private soldiers from various countries. Many countries, special forces soldiers, including those from the United States, Germany, France and the United Kingdom, have been assigned to train Ukrainian soldiers. Russia, on the other hand, is attempting to learn more about the training that these Ukrainian soldiers are receiving. Putin has previously dispatched Russian agents to Germany to investigate the unique training received by Ukrainian forces. Russian drones and Russian agents monitored Ukrainian soldiers trained in Germany and their training was recorded. But the German intelligence service identified these agents. Russian spies apprehended at the German Special Forces headquarters admitted to being deployed to identify Ukrainian soldiers training. 
Putin is expected to conduct research to ensure that Russian forces take safeguards by following these trainings. Russian President Vladimir Putin is alleged to have lost the great bulk of the soldiers he dispatched as part of his partial mobilization order in Russia. Many government officials have indicated that these soldiers who were recruited into the army did not receive adequate training and were deployed to fight in Ukraine as recruits. According to Kremlin officials, this is the primary reason why the Russian military has suffered so many losses on Ukrainian soil in recent months, and trained Russian soldiers are being sent to their deaths on Ukrainian land. Russia, which lost almost 100,000 men in 11 months, also had internal issues to contend with. Putin's choice to mobilize in an emergency was not warmly received by the Russian people. Although Russian citizens attempted to sway Putin's decision by demonstrating and taking action around the country, Putin remained steadfast on the matter. The majority of Russian men of military age have been forced to leave the nation. While most Russian men went to countries such as Turkey, Georgia, Azerbaijan and Belarus, Russian men in po-economic circumstances were forced to remain in their own nation. The real tragedy, though, is that Russian men injure themselves in trying to avoid enlistment. Following Putin's decision to mobilize footage of Russian teens, self-harming began to circulate on social media channels. Russian civilians are attempting to avoid conscription by breaking their own legs or limbs or limbs. Putin's decision has thrown the country into disarray, with the revelation of the film's Russian citizens, antipathy for Putin has become even stronger. Many professional scholars believe that if an election were held today, Putin, who has been president of Russia for 11 years, would lose. Looking at domestic polls, it is possible to say that Putin's vote has dropped by more than 20. The wager mercenaries uprising in the Russian army sparked a terror. Many soldiers were also injured as a result of a deception between wager forces and Russian military. Yevgeny Prigozhin believes that his soldiers' right has been defeated as a result. Prigozhin, who sought to evacuate his soldiers from the region, elicited a strong reaction. Putin is being squeezed by the incoming reactions. With Ukraine's power growing, the Russian army began to suffer massive personnel losses. Despite the fact that numerous Russian civilians were recruited into the Russian army following the mobilization announcement, these troops were of little use in the army. These ignorant and destitute soldiers were continually attempting to flee. It was vital to replace these soldiers who had done more harm than good to the Russian army in this manner. The Russian government, which devised this plan, intended to include mercenaries into the army. As a result of this, Russia, which has made numerous military declarations, has struck an arrangement with the wager mercenary firm. As a result of this arrangement, Russia has numerous trained soldiers in its ranks. The addition of the Wager Mercenary Company to the Russian Army, one of the largest mercenary groups in the world, had a huge impact on the conduct of the conflict. These mercenaries had started to bring success to the Russian Army, which had been struggling for a long period. However, mercenaries in the Russian Army who are known to have an advantage over recruits who have arrived as part of the mobilization, elicited a strong reaction inside the army. The army was greatly confused as a result of the behavior of mercenaries who are known to exert pressure on these soldiers and employ force. Because of this, the army, which was continuously divided and fighting among itself, had begun to have difficulties refocusing on the fronts. However, because to the extensive military training gained by the wager mercenaries, these snafis could not derail their victory. The Wager Warriors' biggest triumph was their victory at the city of Solidar. The Wager soldiers who were hoping for a claim following their victories at Solidar did not get what they deserved. The Wager soldiers were enraged when Putin stated that this accomplishment was due to the great commanders of the Russian army. Yevgeny Prigozhin made a surprising revelation about the Russian army's weakness and how the army is growing thanks to its own soldiers.
Prigozhin underscored the absurdity of attributing wager soldiers' victories to their own forces and specifically mentioned Russian Chief of General Staff Valery Gerasimov and Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu Shoigu Shoigu. On top of that, the high level of tension raised concerns about the Russian army's future. The army, which has achieved significant progress because to the wager soldiers is expected to face a difficult scenario if the supports are severed. While it is well known that Russia is currently suffering from severe troop shortages, such a move was viewed as inexperienced by military observers. According to military specialists, Russia should show the wager warriors the respect they deserve. Russian soldiers report that they were almost tortured by wager soldiers and that the wager soldiers looted all of the inbound supplies, leaving no supplies for the Russian soldiers. In response to Russian soldiers who alleged that the wager soldiers had left them in a tough situation, the wager soldiers issued a statement claiming that the reverse was true. It was reported that the government did not provide the same level of assistance to wager soldiers as it did to Russian soldiers. It was claimed that the soldiers had enormous difficulty on the front lines because the wager soldiers who were participated in numerous successes of the Russian army were not supplied with the requisite ammunition. Following this, Yevgeny Prigozhin, who halted all wager army offensives on Ukrainian territory, responded harshly. Following the takeover of Solidar, Russia must move rapidly in terms of strategy. However, with such a gap in the Russian military, Russia is expected to have problems retaining soldier. The Russian soldiers were surprised at what to do after stopping all attempts at the next occupied location. Bomet. After the number of troops in the region had drastically fallen, the Russian soldiers would be unable to mount an offensive until reinforcements came. Ukraine, which is aware of the situation thanks to the exceptional intelligence system it got from Israel, has taken action in order to make a large profit in the region because the Russian troops' defense forces in Bama were drastically decreased. Ukraine would have easily won the territory. Ukraine has sent twice as many troops to the region as the Russian army, according to intelligence systems that detected the maximum number of troops in the region. The Russian soldiers who were forced to withdraw entirely from the region as a result of this operation suffered a crushing loss. The wager troops' aggressive attitude has cost Russia dearly. When the Russian army was forced to depart the region due to defeat, they left all of their ammunition and their headquarters behind. As a result, Russia, which was already suffering from a shortage of munitions, suffered a little material loss. Ukraine, on the other hand, has compensated for those lost in the battle by transferring these armaments to its own organization. Ukraine will have hit Russia with its own weapon once more as a result of these munitions. Following this failed mission, it is known that a large battle broke out between wager soldiers and Russian soldiers on deck. The wager troops' abandonment of their posts, leaving the Russian soldiers defenseless, elicited a strong reaction from the army. Many soldiers were also injured in the brawl that erupted between wager soldiers and Russian soldiers who disobeyed decrees. If the Russian army does not overcome internal issues as soon as feasible, the war appears to be turning against Russia. According to war strategists, if the wager soldiers leave the Russian army, Russia will be in an untenable scenario. However, the Russian army is not the only organization facing hardships as a result of this battle. At the same time, the Russian people are compelled to deal with domestic problems as while the entire globe is in an economic crisis, it is impossible for Russia to deal with a massive war. While it is well known that Russia's purchasing power has declined dramatically, the people is not happy about the situation. Russians want to reclaim their prosperous lives. The people are bearing the burden of this war, which Putin has initiated for his own benefit. Russian citizens who believe this is wrong want the occupation to end as soon as possible. But, like the army, the Russian people who have been attempting to make their voices heard for a long time have sunk into deep despair. While many anti-war Russian citizens have fled the nation, Russian oligarchs have now begun to carry out this decision.
Putin is supposed to be conducting secret business in order to seize the immense power and money owned by Russian oligarchs. It is believed that Putin, who has long planned to profit from these individuals' holdings, sees current internal turmoil as an opportunity because it was learned that several oligarchs who controlled natural gas deposits had died. People were skeptical of these fatalities since they occurred during a period of immense instability on Russian land. Putin, who is perceived as the only person who stands to benefit from these murders, is being held accountable for everything with the spread of these stories. Oligarchs who know their authority is under threat from their arrests are fleeing the country one by one. It is well known that many oligarchs who oppose the Putin regime have sought sanctuary in Ukraine's allies, countries that want Putin to lose power. On the other hand, welcome these oligarchs as refugees. But knowing that many countries will want to take advantage of their influence, the oligarchs are seeking for safe havens for themselves. Many oligarchs are known to have covertly settled in Turkey for this reason, and Putin is enraged by this alliance forged by foreign countries with their own populations.